All right, so uh, I'm joined today outside the CNET Towers by our man Nate Langson from CNET UK, who's, right. uh, who's the office's kind of self-professed Fallout 3 champion. You've spent about 130 hours with the game now, right? I think so, yeah. And, I uh, never said I was a champion, though. <laughs> but you are, uh, you're pretty uh, well-versed in yeah. the game. And so, uh, Broken Steel's been released this week, and, and you've had a chance to kind of dip into it a little bit. Yeah, I've not quite finished it yet. I've played about, probably about 10 hours of it, something so far. Um, yeah, I mean, and you're liking it? Yeah, it's amazing. So, so tell us a little bit about it. I mean, you, you're telling me you have to finish the original game to really get into it. Yeah, you do. You, uh, it's not like the other DLC where you can just go at any point in the game. You have to finish the game first, and it actually changes the game's ending. So before, once you finish the game, that was it. Mm. You, you know, the game was over. And what you need to do this time is load from a save just before um, you complete the game, complete it again, and then after the ending sequence of, of Fallout 3, you wake up and you're back in the Citadel and you start talking about the next part of the main quest because that's what this DLC does, it extends the main quest again, it's not just a, a separate set of quests. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and basically it's your job to wipe out the rest of the Enclave. I think that uh, Bethesda have said, from, from what I've read about the game anyway, that they want they know that people were disappointed about the ending in the yeah, original game and they want to kind of correct that with this and Definitely. give you a bit more quests, and, as well as kind of raise the level cap as well. They've raised it from 20 to 30. Uh, there's a whole new set of perks as well um, and then there's some new achievements um, for reaching level 30 with bad, neutral or good karma, uh, kind of like there, were, there was for the, um, you know, for the main game. Um, there's some really interesting perks, actually, um, particularly if you were a fan of dog meat, yeah. the dog, and uh, you, can, you can get fresh dog meat if he dies. And so, um, and so it does add a bit more longevity. It seems like you've been playing it for 10 hours. I've so been playing it for 10 hours, but I've, I've not got anywhere near all the way through it yet. Right. I've sort of been taking my time, having a look at what's new. I mean, a, a lot's changed in the wasteland. Um, the the, the Brahmin, the two-headed cows, are now not just standing around eating grass. Uh, they've actually got uh, sort of big barrels of fresh water on the back and, and people going around and giving fresh water to whoever wants them, um, which is quite interesting. And so have you, have you um, experienced new, new enemies and new, new weapons yet? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a few new weapons. There's a, there's a couple of interesting new enemies, one of which is the uh, super mutant overlord. So before now, there was nothing between the master and the, the behemoths, the, the massive super mutants. Now there is, it's called the overlord. And he's kind of like the point between the, the master and the, and, the, um, and the behemoths. He's sort of a bit bigger, stronger. He's got like a Gatlin laser and, and he's tough. And there's also a, there's a new type of um, feral ghoul who's even more angry to still be alive than the last ones. Uh, he's sort of twice as fast, twice as strong. Um, he's a real pain, mm. a real pain. And so the new weapons as well, you've, you've kind of had a chance to pick any of these up yet? Yeah, there's a new type of flamethrower that's quite interesting. Um, that's the only one I've seen so far, and you get the, um, a Tesla cannon, uh, but I'm yet to really play with that. Um, but that sounds really cool, that sounds amazing. And so, I mean, Bethesda's released a few of these packs already now, so it's like the third one, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Is it, is it worth it if people have already bought the pit and, and um, yeah. is it, what was the other one? Beneath Operation it? Anchorage. Operation Anchor Anchorage, yeah. yeah. Anchorage was my least favourite. The pit was, was, was decent, but this really is the one. This is the next this one. Because this doesn't add any new kind of areas. This is still set in the wasteland, isn't it? It does add some areas, yeah. It does add a few, but a, a lot of them, you sort of, they've changed parts of the internal areas from places already in the wastes and you can you do sort of leave the wastes a little bit but not like in the pit where you get a train to a whole new area and there's a whole new world map it's not like that but there are some new sort of new areas that you couldn't explore previously yeah so so far it gets the it gets the the nates two thumbs it up. gets a very enthusiastic pair of thumbs up recommendation definitely all right well that's uh, that's a new dlc for fallout 3 it's 800 microsoft points i think so it's just been released so you can uh, download it now